Hi everyone, great to be back. It's Bob Cooper with the next episode of In the Big Inning, the YouTube channel that is dedicated entirely to Jewish baseball. And I just got back from the National. I had an amazing few days there. I met up with the same group of YouTubers uh, who I met last year, some new people, uh, and just great to connect again with a bunch of buddies from last year. And I also made a lot of pickups. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to divide it into a few groups and make a few videos out of it, um, rather than throw everything out there all at once because there were some really cool pickups that I had. Let's look at a few of my favorite pickups. Uh, that would be the category for these are the best things that I think I picked up over the week. And let's take a look at the first one. And this was the first thing I bought at the show. Look at that, a Moberg. 1934 batter up and it's a PSA 5 that's nice it's got no perforation at the back which is also really good so that's a beautiful card I really like that one and while we're on the topic of Moberg I got two other Moberg items so both of them autographs so let's take a look at this one so I've never seen a Berg autograph that big so that's a nice one, authenticated by Beckett. It's a cut signature, which I don't usually buy, but I really love that one because I've never seen something like that. And the other one I got, which is a really cool item, is a check signed by Berg. And this one is unique. There are actually a few checks out there for Mo Berg, uh, but this one is special because it is double signed. And you don't usually see both signatures on one check. I've never seen another one that's double signed. Uh, so I picked that one up. That was also a nice pickup. Now, my favorite pickup of the entire show. And there's a little story that goes with this one. So this is a card I have been hunting for for years. And it has finally come up. It's a 1936 Worldwide Gum. Philip Weintraub. Now, just to explain something about this card, you can see it's number 135 in the set. So it's the last card actually in that set. And something happened that it was not in packs originally. And so it was always listed uh, as a 134 card set. And then this card seemed to have appeared. So it's a very short print. Now for years, this is one of my grail cards. You see, for years, I've been going show to show, and at every booth I say, do you have any 1936 Worldwide gum? And everyone says, no, we had a few, they're all gone, or they have a couple of other players, but finding anything this set in this set is almost impossible. So on the first night as I was leaving, I was going through my regular routine of going dealer to dealer, and saying, do you have any 36 Worldwide gum? No, 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 no. Go to a booth that has five people. They say, no. I said, can you check? Because it's a, one of the bigger dealers. And they looked around. They came back. No, five people looking for it. So then at the next booth, um, I asked and they said no. But then a guy from that booth of five people comes over to me. and says, well, we did find one card from that set, but just one. And sure enough, this is it. Now, this set, I'll show you the back too. This card, in I think 12 years on eBay, I've only seen one ever come up and it was gone within maybe two or three hours uh, at a ridiculous price. The price I paid for this is quite high, but actually not out of range and out of expectation for this card. So I am really thrilled to get this one. I never thought I would even see one. Uh, the PSA pop is pretty low as they are for, as you know, just about everything that I like to buy. So these four were my first four. Well, they weren't the first ones I bought in the whole thing, but they're the first ones that I'm showing you. And so a really nice selection. Those are my favorite items from the show. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those Mo Berg items, as well as that incredible card, the Philip Weintraub from the 1936 Worldwide Gum. Thanks for watching this episode of In the Big Inning, and I look forward to showing you more of my acquisitions from the National in the next episode.